Potentially, hundreds of Ukrainian troops are surrounded near the village of Progress in eastern Ukraine. There is currently no order to withdraw, the Ukrainian think tank Deep State reported earlier. But the order could come soon, as Ukrainian Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Syrsky has said his troops should never fight to the last man, Forbes reports. It is noted that the encircled Ukrainian soldiers will have to either fight their way to the west or wait until other brigades break through to the east. In recent days, ominous signs have appeared on the battlefield west of the ruins of Avdiivka. Over the course of a week, a group of Russian motorized rifle regiments advanced 6.5 kilometers to the west. Moving toward progress, the Russian unit split into two parts and surrounded two battalions of the 31st Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Army, the publication says. The publication suggested that the reason for the current situation is sector-wide problems with the Ukrainian command. It was previously reported that the operational and tactical situation on this section of the front became critical due to the chaotic withdrawal of one of the infantry brigades. It is no secret how the encircled Ukrainian battalions survive. Russian and Ukrainian forces regularly supply the isolated troops with heavy drones that drop packages of food, water and ammunition. But drone deliveries cannot endlessly feed and water hundreds of people, replace missiles and other heavy ammunition or deliver the wounded to safety. The battalions cut off near progress will have to fight their way to the west or wait for the brigades to break through to the east, the publication says. As reported by the Operational Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsa, the defense forces of Ukraine are taking measures to dislodge the Russian invaders from the area of the village of Progress in the Donetsk region. It was noted that in general, the situation in the Pokrovsk direction in the zone of responsibility where units of the 31st Separate Mechanized Brigade are conducting defensive battles is tense and difficult. Earlier, Deep State announced that Russian occupation forces had captured the village of Progress the enemy had managed to quickly turn the tide of the battle. Visitors ran for safety at Yellowstone National Park after a hydrothermal explosion sent rock and steam spewing into the air north of the Old Faithful Geyser on July 23, park officials said. There were no injuries, and the extent of the damage from the blast, which occurred in Biscuit Basin. The Biscuit Basin parking lot and boardwalks are now temporarily closed for visitor safety. National Park Service noted that geologists are investigating the event. Hydrothermal explosions occur when water suddenly flashes to steam underground, and they are relatively common in Yellowstone. It's sort of an underappreciated hazard in the Yellowstone region, said Michael Poland, scientist in charge with the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. People focus on the volcanism there, but there's no sign of any volcanic activity involved in this, he said. It was simply a geyser system, a hydrothermal system, that experienced changes underground that caused a lot of water to flush the heat. Photos posted by Yellowstone National Park show the nearby boardwalk covered in dirt, rocks and debris. The boardwalk and a parking lot were closed for the time being because of safety concerns, the park service said. The explosion has nothing to do with volcanic activity, it noted. Hydrothermal explosions are somewhat common in the area, occurring when underground water suddenly turns to steam. Similar eruptions occurred at Biscuit Basin in 1959, 1991, and 2009.